Heme, Wikipedia Audio Heme or heme is a coordination complex consisting of an iron ion coordinated to a porphyrin acting as a tetradentate ligand, and to one or two axial ligands. The definition is loose, and many depictions omit the axial ligands. Many porphyrin-containing metalloproteins have heme as their prosthetic group, these are known as hemoproteins. Hemes are most commonly recognized as components of hemoglobin, the red pigment in blood, but are also found in a number of other biologically important hemoproteins such as myoglobin, cytochromes, catalases, heme peroxidase, and endothelial nitric oxide synthase. The word heme is derived from Greek alpha mu alpha hyma meaning blood. Hemoproteins have diverse biological functions including the transportation of diatomic gases, chemical catalysis, diatomic gas detection, and electron transfer. The heme iron serves as a source or sink of electrons during electron transfer or redox chemistry. In peroxidase reactions, the porphyrin molecule also serves as an electron source. In the transportation or detection of diatomic gases, the gas binds to the heme iron. During the detection of diatomic gases, the binding of the gas ligand to the heme iron induces conformational changes in the surrounding protein. In general, diatomic gases only bind to the reduced heme, as ferrous Fe while most peroxidases cycle between Fe and Fe and heme proteins involved in mitochondrial redox, oxidation reduction, cycle between Fe and Fe. Function It has been speculated that the original evolutionary function of hemoproteins was electron transfer in primitive sulfur-based photosynthesis pathways in ancestral cyanobacteria-like organisms before the appearance of molecular oxygen. Hemoproteins achieve their remarkable functional diversity by modifying the environment of the heme macrocycle within the protein matrix. For example, the ability of hemoglobin to effectively deliver oxygen to tissues is due to specific amino acid residues located near the heme molecule. Hemoglobin reversibly binds to oxygen in the lungs when the pH is high, and the carbon dioxide concentration is low. When the situation is reversed, hemoglobin will release oxygen into the tissues. This phenomenon which states that hemoglobin's oxygen binding affinity is inversely proportional to both acidity and concentration of carbon dioxide, is known as the Bohr effect. The molecular mechanism behind this effect is the steric organization of the globin chain, a histidine residue, located adjacent to the heme group, becomes positively charged under acidic conditions, releasing oxygen from the heme group. ALAD, aminolevulinic acid, delta dash, dehydratase, alas 1, aminolevulinate, delta dash, synthase 1, alas 2, aminolevulinate, delta dash, synthase 2, CPOX, copropyrinogen oxidase, FECH, ferrochelatase, HMBS hydroxymetalbilane synthase, PPOX, protoporphyrinogen oxidase, UROD, uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase, UROS, uroporphyrinogen 3 synthase. There are several biologically important kinds of heme. The most common type is heme B. Other important types include heme A and heme C. Isolated hemes are commonly designated by capital letters while hemes bound to proteins are designated by lower case letters. Cytochrome refers to the heme A in specific combination with membrane protein forming a portion of cytochrome C oxidase. The names of cytochromes typically reflect the kinds of hemes they contain. Cytochrome A contains heme A, 
cytochrome C contains heme C, etc. This convention may have been first introduced with the publication of the structure of heme A. The enzymatic process that produces heme is properly called porphyrin synthesis, as all the intermediates are tetrapyroles that are chemically classified as porphyrins. The process is highly conserved across biology. In humans, this pathway serves almost exclusively to form heme. In other species, it also produces similar substances such as cobalamin. The pathway is initiated by the synthesis of d aminolavulinic acid from the amino acid glycine and succinyl CoA from the citric acid cycle. The rate limiting enzyme responsible for this reaction, ALA synthase, is negatively regulated by glucose and heme concentration. Mechanism of inhibition of alas by heme or hemin is by decreasing stability of mRNA synthesis and by decreasing the intake of mRNA in the mitochondria. This mechanism is of therapeutic importance, infusion of heme arginate or hematin and glucose can abort attacks of acute intermittent porphyria in patients with an inborn error of metabolism of this process, by reducing transcription of ALA synthase. The organs mainly involved in heme synthesis are the liver and the bone marrow, although every cell requires heme to function properly. However, due to its toxic properties, proteins such as hemopexin are required to help maintain physiological stores of iron in order for them to be used in synthesis. Heme is seen as an intermediate molecule in catabolism of hemoglobin in the process of bilirubin metabolism. Defects in various enzymes in synthesis of heme can lead to group of disorder called porphyrias, these include acute intermittent porphyria, congenital erythropoietic porphyria, porphyria cutanea tarda, hereditary coproporphyria, variegate porphyria erythropoietic protoporphyria. Producers of vegetarian food use an accelerated synthesis process involving soy root leg hemoglobin and yeast, and then add the resulting heme to items such as veggie burger patties. Types Degradation begins inside macrophages of the spleen, which remove old and damaged erythrocytes from the circulation. In the first step, heme is converted to biliverdin by the enzyme heme oxygenase. NADF is used as the reducing agent, molecular oxygen enters the reaction, carbon monoxide is produced and the iron is released from the molecule as the ferrous ion. CO acts as a cellular messenger and functions in vasodilation. In addition, Heme degradation appears to be an evolutionarily conserved response to oxidative stress. Briefly, when cells are exposed to free radicals, there is a rapid induction of the expression of the stress-responsive heme oxygenase 1 isoenzyme that catabolizes heme. The reason why cells must increase exponentially their capability to degrade heme in response to oxidative stress remains unclear but this appears to be part of a cytoprotective response that avoids the deleterious effects of free heme. When large amounts of free heme accumulates, the heme detoxification slash degradation systems get overwhelmed, enabling heme to exert its damaging effects. In the second reaction, biliverdin is converted to bilirubin by biliverdin reductase. Bilirubin is transported into the liver by facilitated diffusion bound to a protein, where it is conjugated with glucuronic acid to become more water-soluble. The reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme UDP glucuronosyl transferase. This form of bilirubin is excreted from the liver in bile. Excretion of bilirubin from liver to biliary canaliculi is an active, energy-dependent and rate-limiting process. The intestinal bacteria deconjugate bilirubin diglucuronide and convert bilirubin to urobilinogens. 
Some urobilinogen is absorbed by intestinal cells and transported into the kidneys and excreted with urine. The remainder travels down the digestive tract and is converted to stercobilinogen. This is oxidized to stercobilin, which is excreted and is responsible for the color of feces. Under homeostasis, the reactivity of heme is controlled by its insertion into the heme pockets of hemoproteins. Under oxidative stress however, some hemoproteins, e.g. hemoglobin, can release their heme prosthetic groups. The non-protein-bound heme produced in this manner becomes highly cytotoxic, most probably due to the iron atom contained within its protoporphyrin 9 ring, which can act as a Fenton's reagent to catalyze in an unfettered manner the production of free radicals. It catalyzes the oxidation and aggregation of protein, the formation of cytotoxic lipid peroxide via lipid peroxidation and damages DNA through oxidative stress. Due to its lipophilic properties, it impairs lipid bilayers in organelles such as mitochondria and nuclei. These properties of free heme can sensitize a variety of cell types to undergo programmed cell death in response to pro-inflammatory agonists, a deleterious effect that plays an important role in the pathogenesis of certain inflammatory diseases such as malaria and sepsis. There is an association between high intake of heme iron sourced from meat and increased risk of colon cancer. The heme content of red meat is tenfold higher than that of white meat such as chicken. The following genes are part of the chemical pathway for making heme. Major hemes Other hemes Synthesis Artificial synthesis for food Degradation In health and disease Genes Notes and references <laughs>